morning everyone it's Ashley from Raising Sunshine Flower Farm so today I thought I'd give you a little tour of our annual raised bed since I wasn't able to the other video so we're gonna go ahead and start on the inside of the garden today is April Friday's April 29th I know that so it's like April 25th yes today's Monday April 25th so right now we have one two, three, and four beds open. We still have, I think all together, I will be able to do 11 three foot beds. They're three foot by, and in the end, they'll be three foot by 40. They're gonna go all the way back to the lilies. Once we are done using the tarp to kill off the weeds that are in this area, I'm gonna go ahead and spread it in the back to open up more land. So we're gonna go ahead and walk over to our first bed. In our first bed, we have a bunch of grass and weeds growing. But amongst those weeds and grass, we have ranunculus growing. These were planted out five weeks ago. They're not putting on a ton of growth. I have fertilized them and we're just kind of waiting on them see what they're gonna do this is my first year growing them so if nothing happens hopefully we learn from it we have 10 feet of the ranunculus planted then we have our first succession of snapdragons and they are all looking really well there are some, we had a huge windstorm and some of them snapped off, but they're still putting on green growth. So they're still looking pretty well. This one looks beautiful. There's lots of branching. I haven't noticed any flowers coming out just yet, but our first row of it looks well. I mean, technically that is our second succession a planting. There's about a five foot row of them. I also planted another succession in this five foot area. This was the first succession planting. This was the second. This was planted out eight weeks before our last expected frost. But as you're looking, you can say this is not a snapdragon. And that is because our first succession was a failure. It died off. I don't see any plants in here from it at all. But in its place, we planted anemones. And these are looking beautiful. I never have grown anemones either. And as you're gonna hear me say about a hundred times, this is all a learning experience this year. This is my first year actually flower farming. I can grow flowers, but I've never sold them. And like I said, we're learning. I see no, no little blooms or anything yet. But Mother's Day is in about two weeks, so hopefully we have something. In our next raised bed, oops, I forgot. I need to take this out, but we just planted 10 feet of lily bulbs right here. And the day after we planted, we got a huge rainstorm and somebody's little paw print went inside. I'm hoping that the bulb that was in here is fine. <laughs> we will see soon. This next area, there will be another five foot section of snap, not snaps, sun, sunflowers planted here. But these are our very first sunflowers of the season. I believe I made a video. I know I made a short of planting these with my daughter, but these have been in the ground, I'd say for at least three weeks now. We had a couple freezes and I would just put over our row covering over our snap, or goodness, over our sunflowers here and they look great. There is some yellowing. There is a little tiny bit of damage, but overall they're thriving. 
And then just past our sunflowers, we have some Dara planted. We have one, two, three, four, five, five plants right here. These were kind of just extras that I had. Uh, so I just threw them in our garden. And then I have this growing. It looks like a rose to me. It has the leaf structure of a rose. I've never planted a rose here. So I don't know what this is, but since it looks like a rose, I'm gonna let it grow and just see what it does. I mean, free roses, why not? There's another little one growing just like it. Then next to the Dara, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six Rubecchia plants. Now, I can't remember if this is the Sahara or the Green Eye Susans. This is our technical third succession planting of Snapdragons. These were pinched. These were not pinched, but with the windstorms, like I was saying, and those being planted out through, they were planted out six weeks before our last frost. So they've been in the ground six weeks now because we just passed our last frost date. But like I was saying, these were snapped. Those were, these were pinched. Those were not. Now these did seem to have some significant damage coming outside, but they are growing and thriving really well. Most of them have two shoots coming off of it. This actually might be two plants. This one, you can really see the branching from pinching. So the succession is doing really, re really well. This is another five foot bed of it. Then next we have 10 feet of more ranunculus growing. They're, they are thriving and doing really well. No buds on them. They were planted out a couple days after the first planting. But that's about it from them. As you can see, there are some that I need to pull their heads off. But I bought these actually from Lowe's as a started plant. These are ranunculus plants. Um, but as you can tell, they don't, they do not get high. You can't really turn them into a bouquet or anything but they were more just for fun, just to have something to look at in the garden. For me, not everything is about money and profit and all that jazz. Sometimes it's just for the beauty. Something for me and my girls to come out, look at, and pick if we want to. So then in our third row, we have five, 10, 15, 20. 20 feet planted of Sweet Williams, and they are at all different stages. We have some that are tiny like this, and then we have uh, some that are bigger. And you know, honestly, now that I'm looking at it, I don't think these are Sweet Williams. What what are these? Are th mm, straw flowers? Status? I don't know. Another fun thing to know about me. I forget of I forget about what I'm growing sometimes. And I don't log it and I need to. <sighs> now I need to look at my journal. Maybe I did log it. Hopefully I did. But these for sure are Sweet Williams. <laughs> Sweet Williams planted. These are another Sweet William planting. These are babies, teeny, teeny babies. Then this is our second succession planted of sunflowers. I did direct sow these because I wanted to see how they would do. They were planted out 
two to three weeks ago, I put two in each six foot, six inch little block. And they are all doing great. They've tolerated freezes. This is our third five foot succession planting of sunflowers. This right here is open. Nothing planting in those. But now that I look a little closer, we got a little sunflower, even though he was not planted there. As we move further, we have some sweet peas that aren't looking so hot. They're pretty fried. I didn't leave them out to harden off long enough, but if you look closer, the little offshoots of them are thriving. So I'm gonna see how these do. We have five, 10, 15, 20 feet of them planted. So we'll see how they do. If not, I'll just plant something in these, this foot of space that they are in. Next to them, we have some status little baby status plants. If we walk down a little bit more, there are bigger status plants. So I'm hoping that they will bloom at different times and giving us a succession of their plantings. Then we have a 10 foot spacing of our Lysianthus plants. And they are doing really well. I'm gonna walk to the other side so you can see them better. This is my first year ever growing Lysianthus from seed. And while it took a long time for them to get to this point, it is a very rewarding process. So I'm really excited to see how these grow and thrive. There was three or four different varieties of them. So that is it for are in the ground raised beds. <sighs> Next, we do need to finish laying out some cardboard in each of the rows, laying some mulch down. I did do that with our front entryway, as you've seen in our video where we planted up our roses. If you want, I'll take you a little peek on our in our in the ground raised beds, not in the ground, <laughs> raised beds. Uh, these are some status. So you know what? I think those other ones that I was not knowing about are status because they look just like this. No, they don't. This is straw. That's what I'm trying to say. Not status, straw flowers. So maybe those other ones are straw flowers. I don't know. It's a mystery. Then we have some more Dara planted here, right here also. We have two peony roots planted here. I just planted them there. I'm going to move them probably in the fall time, but I just need to get them in some soil. The next we have, there was three rows of garlic planted here. Technically there's four rows. Three rows did not survive the winter and they were planted too early. But in their place, I put some nasturtium plants. They are very beautiful. I love their leaf structure. Their flowers are really deep, the, the variety that I have. They're really deep red color. Next, we have a row of garlic planted and then our pirate tulips. Not pirate, parrot. <laughs> our parrot tulips. At first, they were so small and not growing, but as soon as their flowers started to open, they actually put on quite a bit of length, but I'm glad I kind of just left them in the ground so I can see their beautifulness. Then we have some more rogue sunflowers coming up. We have a carrot seed right here that I'm gonna let bloom so I can harvest their flowers. Then we have a couple of radishes. And then here is one of our Eden roses. Now in the other bed, we have another Eden Rose. We have a ton of Black Eyed Susan Rebeccias. Then we have, oh 
what is this called again? We have Brussels sprouts, purple Brussels sprouts planted. I have tried to grow Brussels sprouts in the past. They did not thrive. Trying again. Then we have some lettuce. In our next raised bed, we have a row of irises. I did have another one start popping up, so we have two that are officially growing. We have some anemones planted, some more anemones coming down this way. In between the anemones, I put a row of snapdragons. Are they too close together? Probably, but once the anemones die out, the snapdragons will be growing. Then we have a bed of Bells of Ireland. So these are our, our Bells of Ireland in this bed. I had started these inside and I had three plants that grew and the other seeds did not do anything. And I had these planted in the soil blocks. Well, instead of just letting them die, I decided to plant them out. And I even took the soil blocks that had no growth in them whatsoever and they were sitting in that soil for over a month and nothing happened. So I came outside and I planted each soil block, whether it was growing or not. And I will tell you, every single one of these Bells of Ireland plants were the ones that were not growing. I thought the seeds were goners. There's no chance that they're gonna do anything, but you know what? This is a great example that if you try, something will happen or something might happen but you don't know until you try it. If it fails, then you have a whole entire bud that you can use. The plants that were thriving died once I put them out. Thank you everyone for joining me on our little garden tour for April 26th. Yes, April 26th. I can't wait to see what our garden looks like in the next two weeks. Thank you and have a wonderful day.